Happy Monday, scientists. We just finished learning about gravity and the sun and the sun's energy. So we're gonna move on to a new unit in science and we're gonna start talking about plants. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna read a story about plants and you can follow along or you can go to Epic Books and read it yourself. It's called Seed to Plant. So we're gonna find all kinds of exciting information about plants. So let's get started. Seed to plant. And again, this is on Epic Books if you wanna watch, read it there. What is a plant? A plant is a living thing. It stays in one place, but it grows and changes just like you. Plants can be big or small. Some have flowers, others also grow fruit. Trees are plants too. So if we look at our pictures here, our photographs, this is a label, it's a text feature, and this is a white water lily. Here is a fern, that is an orchid, which is a beautiful flower, and up top is a tangerine tree. Tangerines are kind of like oranges. So we see our photograph here, and the caption is what the photograph is. And it says a farmer in his cotton field, he's growing cotton. And here's another photograph with a caption and it just says a bear in a tree. Remember captions tell us what the photograph or the picture is. Plants are a big part of our world. Farmers grow fruits and vegetables and they give plant, these give plants, excuse me, these plants give us food. Some plants can be used to make clothing, like the cotton. Your t-shirt is probably made from cotton plants. Other plants are cozy homes for animals. So my t-shirt is made out of cotton and it's soft. And then some plants are used for homes. Parts of a plant. You can use your body to remember the parts of the plant. Your arms are like the leaves. Your body is like the stem. And your feet are like the roots. So leaves, stem, and then your feet are like the roots. Roots hold the plant in the ground. The stem helps the plant stand up, stand up tall, and the leaves soak in, soak up the sunlight. That's how they get food. So our diagram here, a diagram shows parts of something. So this is showing the parts of the plant. The leaves that soak up the sunlight and give the plant the food, the stem that helps the plant stand up tall, and the roots that hold it in the ground. How does a plant begin? I was just about to say, well, where does it come from? Let's dig in. Most plants start as a seed the seed splits open and a shoot pushes out. That's what that little part is called. This is called germination. When you see these goofy things that don't really look like words in parentheses after a longer word, that's showing you how to pronounce it, how to say it, germination. So this long word is pronounced germination, okay? And then a new plant is beginning. Down here, our buzzword, it's like a vocabulary word. Germination is the sprouting of a new plant and a seedling is a young plant. A seedling starts to grow. Roots reach down into the soil and a stem pushes up into the air. Remember the roots hold it in, the stem keeps it nice and tall. And then we have some labels there, leaves, stem, and roots of the parts that we just read about. Our caption here, Watering a garden helps it grow. And our heading is a plant grows. Just like you, a plant grows bigger and bigger. The roots spread out and down into the ground and the stem gets thicker and stronger. More leaves and branches begin to grow. And our buzzword there says soil is the top layer of the earth which plants grow in. I don't know if you can tell by this photograph on, on the second page is that here's a tree but behind it is the trunk of a bigger tree. Those trees are huge. They're great trees. 
what do plants need to grow? Plants need these things in order to grow. Soil, like dirt, water, food, sunlight, air, and space. Why would they need space to grow? So as a plant grows, the roots get bigger. If the roots don't have any space to grow, like in a cup or something, then they'll die. They need space to grow. Water and some food come from soil. The roots soak them up. Sunlight and air enter through the leaves. Plants use them to make more food and plants also need space to grow. So as you can tell from the picture here, the sunlight and the air and the leaves, then we've got the soil and there's, the plant is getting water and food from the soil as well. The tree, which is a plant. Six fun plant facts. Number one, this palm tree seed can weigh as much as a fourth grader. Oh my gosh, that is one seed. It's the heaviest seed in the world. That would be fun to research. Scrub-a-dub-dub -dub in the tub. Plants are used in many soaps and shampoos. Did you know that? Plant-based things. The paper for this book was made from trees, which you probably know that paper is made from trees. One sunflower can make as many as 1,000 seeds. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of seeds from one flower. There's number five over there. Bamboo grows the fastest of any plant. It can grow as tall as a three-year-old kid in one day. What? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. And number six, the tallest living tree is taller than the Statue of Liberty. Wow. I wonder how tall that tree is. That would be another cool thing to research. Flowers bloom. Many plants grow flowers. They start as a bump called a bud. The bud slowly opens and the, pe the petals gently unfold. And surprise, it's a flower. Sticky pollen. Flowers make sticky powder called pollen. Pollen sticks to birds and bees when they fly from flower to flower. Then the pollen rubs off on other flowers and this is called pollination. It helps the flowers make seeds. There's that um, pronunciation again. S silly looking words or letters with the parentheses. That comes after a long vocabulary word that shows us how to pronounce it. Pollination. So that word right there is pronounced pollination. Seeds. Plants keep seeds in different places. Many plants grow a case around the seed. The case is called a pod. Peas and maple tree seeds grow in pods. So again, here's another diagram that's showing parts of something. The maple tree pod, the seeds over here, and then there's a pea pod and the seeds are in size. Anybody like to eat these? I do, yum. Orange seeds are different. Their seeds are on the inside, like a lot of fruits, like an apple, for example. But strawberry seeds are on the outside. Now the seeds take a trip. Some float on the wind. Others are carried away by animals. The seeds fall to the ground. Soon they sprout or germinate and a new plant begins. Here, our caption is showing a bird carries a berry with a seed inside. That caption over there says a squirrel holds a large seed. And this caption down at the bottom says dandelion seeds scatter in the wind. Pass the plants, please. Mmm, yum, who likes watermelon? Me. People and animals eat plants to stay healthy. How many plants did you eat today? Hmm. How many fruits or vegetables did you eat today? Maybe nothing yet, but maybe for dinner. A panda is eating a bamboo plant. Watermelon is fruit that comes from a plant. So you can also plant your own beans, um, bean plant. You can get beans from a bag of beans from Publix. It's very cheap, doesn't cost much at all. 
and you can plant your own plant if you want. So you can go back to if your mom or dad decide to get you some seeds, or you can even get some seeds from um, Lowe's or Home Depot in the garden department if you wanna grow some flowers. That might be fun to do. So if you wanna go back to this page from the story, if you decide to go plant some plants, then you would know where to follow some of the, some of the directions. It depends on what you're planting. Some you can just plant in the ground. This one is the bean seed. It says, soak your seed in a cup of water overnight. Okay, so it just depends on what you decide to do, if you decide to do it at all. Just a fun little experiment. What in the world? These pictures show close-up views of things in this book. Use the hints below to figure out what's in the pictures. The answers are on page 31. <laughs> so if you wanna go to Epic Books and do this little fun game, have at it, all right? What we're gonna do next is we are going to fill out our diagram. So go ahead and get this page ready. If you can't print it, then you can just draw it on a piece of paper. All right, we'll hit it back and learn about our functions and structures of our plant.